Hey, what's up everyone? Vortex here and welcome to another video on uh, 7 Days to Die. Today we're gonna talk about the new Alpha 22 that is gonna be released. Uh, we're not sure when. <laughs> the fun pimps, they say uh, somewhere in the summer of 2024. <laughs> we're gonna see if uh, that's the case. It might be June, July, August. We really don't know. So without further ado, uh, let's go to the video. All right, so first of all, uh, we can see some images here. It looks like we get the... Um, sets maybe uh we have a new poi it looks like a hotel or something like that new skins for the zombies i'm not sure i would like them to introduce some new zombies actually but that's fine now this one it looks like a motorcycle maybe it's a new model or maybe they reworked the old model and also you i can see two people sitting on a motorcycle so probably if you have friends playing with <laughs> you might uh, be able to use the same motorcycle for both of you uh, then we get some new skins maybe for the animals oh we have the pig back <laughs> all right that's fine that's cool we have uh, the mountain lion seems different the boar seems a little bit different the other ones i'm not really sure if they look that different to be honest i don't see the chicken <laughs> where is the chicken did they remove the chicken that's gonna be <laughs> an issue for glock 9 he's gonna be really upset with the fun pimps if they remove the chicken the chicken is his mortal enemy <laughs> in seven days to die anyway here we have like a newspaper that maybe will be on the ground you know when you walk in, in the city uh, looks like a about the virus and how decimates america and all this shit i mean i can't read what's there but, but probably when we will get it maybe we can read and see what the heck is saying all right uh so yeah that's uh, pretty much uh, some of these uh, new things but we're gonna check all of them and see exactly what's going on so uh confirmed alpha 22 features new armor system all new art replaces old clothing and armor systems themed armor sets like farmer lumberjack commando armor sets still consist of pieces that can be mixed and matched acquire and wear the complete set for bonus first person hands reflect what you're wearing all right so i like this i like the idea of uh, sets and the bonuses that you get if you have uh, the whole set i like the idea that you can mix and match them so maybe you have like a set that has like a strong bonus for the two pieces and another one that has like a strong bonus for like four pieces so you want to combine them uh, or three i don't know exactly how many pieces you need maybe it's like one two three four five i don't know but it's i like the idea of uh, being able to mix them i hope they reworked the facial expression and all that shit for the <laughs> for the character like customization it looks like these people here which have the uh, sets except for this one who doesn't have a head <laughs> A face i don't know what happened with him am i blind no i'm not blind <laughs> it doesn't have a face <laughs> all right <laughs> that's a bug maybe or something but they look quite different so maybe they reworked a little bit the character design and uh, skins and stuff like that so that's a good thing new player character system all new player character base models to choose from oh, okay so they talk about this all right so they did something customize appearance with different parts like face, eyes, hair, facial hair, okay? Read an animation to support the new character and armor. New shaders for uh, hair, eyes and skin. Updated player profile editor. Okay, so this is good. I like this one because we do have something like this in the in the current version of the 7 Days to Die, but it's actually quite crappy, you know? Whenever you try to create your own character and have a more personalized and maybe to look a little bit more like you, there's always some issues and they, they never work the proper way, so... I'm glad that they're actually working on them. That's cool. All right, let's uh, move on. New zombie variants. Okay, so individual zombies will spawn with one of several albedo texture variants. Tech allows for one zombie model to have different clothing design, hair color, skin color. Uh, performs better than old UMA uh, zombies. Okay, so I mean, that's cool. I like the fact that they uh, try to make them a little bit more different. Uh, I would have loved the idea to have like new zombies, you know, just changing their clothes and their uh, hairstyle and stuff like that. I don't, I mean, not hairstyle, hair colors actually, not even the hairstyle. So I'm not sure how I feel about it. And by the way, I, I'm going to say this because a lot of people, they don't really talk about this. What's the deal with having kids uh, zombies in the, in a zombie game? like what's going on here i've noticed this in even like movies tv series the walking dead uh whatever you want uh, resident evil there's barely any uh, zombie kids <laughs> in the world like why i don't understand this i i mean i understand the idea of not using kids as dead you know giving the idea of a dead kid and stuff like that but in a realistic world if this shit would happen in our world we will have a lot of kids <laughs> zombies around us so i don't know why they don't do this why then why they don't take up why they don't approach this idea of having some zombie kids you know <laughs> that would be really creepy to be in a poi 
and then a bunch of kids are coming out, you know, and they try to kill you. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, <laughs> I will hope so. I will hope at some point they will introduce some uh, something like this because you know it makes uh, makes the game a little bit more realistic. And also, again, I was hoping to uh, see some new zombies, new models, but I guess giving them some new colors and stuff like that would is still okay. Uh, okay, let's move on. Uh, new animal art. Animals use the new fur shader. New stag, new cougar with new animations, new bear, new pig and or boar, new coyote, new wolf, new rabbit, new grace, mutated boar. Okay, again, they don't talk about the chicken. Uh, so don't remove the chicken, guys. Uh, keep the chicken in there because <laughs> Glock 9 is gonna be really upset with you. Uh, now let's move on. New vehicle art. Okay, so vehicle appearance changes depending on the mods installed. That's cool. I like this. A new bicycle, new mini bike, new motorcycle, new 4x4, new gyrocopter. All right, so this one is basically the motorcycle. It's not an, another model, another motorcycle. It's just the old one, but it's been reworked. I don't know. I guess it's fine. Uh, again, I was hoping them to add more vehicles to the game. I mean, it is possible. You can have any... Uh, and other mods if you want uh, and you can add vehicles in your game so i don't know you can actually get like mods but i don't see the point why i should install some mods to get uh, new vehicles i'm not sure why they don't want to add more <laughs> I mean, it is possible to do it, so... And anyway, I hope uh, the new models will look great. The motorcycle looks quite nice, to be honest. Let's move on. New points of interest, POIs, right? Tier 4 Army Camp, okay. Tier 5 School, Heaven Hotel, which I think is this one. This one looks like a hotel, which looks really, really nice. I love this one. If this is the one that uh, they, they're adding. Tier 2 Commercial Business Trip. All right, whatever that is. Tier 5 Football Stadium. All right, I like this one. This should be cool, actually. <laughs> Tier 2 Apartment Building. More Wilderness POIs unconnected to roads to discover. New POI trigger improvements like like and or logic for doors all right now i like the idea of uh, them introducing new pois the fumpings are really good at introducing pois and making them and building them again you can have mods for uh, adding pois uh, in your game if you want but i uh, in my experience a lot of the pois that are done by uh, modders and uh, whatever most of those pois um, they look quite empty there's no personality to those pois you know they look quite empty and boring sometimes there's not a lot going on you can find a huge building like a skyscraper and you go inside and there's just stairs everywhere and empty rooms and it's not really that interesting but the fun pins they're actually good at uh, creating poi so i'm glad that they add more i'm okay with this so uh, the next point is um, random world generated improvements okay reduced memory usage improved stamp performance faster road generation improved road smoothing roads carved through mountains all right that's interesting improvements to uh, random world generated preview camera improved ui layout for a uh, random world generated creation new biome generation algorithm place places less blocky biomes ensures all biomes are present and may put one biome in the center okay burn forest biome is back Ooh. okay that's that i that's one that i like <laughs> the burn forest biome it's uh, the first biome i actually spawned when i started playing uh, seven days to die on ps4 it was alpha 17 i think it's still uh, for the ps4 <laughs> and this was the first biome where i spawned and i remember there was like this uh that noise that you see in the that you hear in the background uh, <laughs> that creepy noise and i remember i was like so creeped out about that uh, sound <laughs> uh, and i was really quite sad because uh, they removed it in alpha 20 and alpha 21 as well but the fact that they uh, put it back that's uh, that's cool uh, one thing that i need to add here uh, here it says ensures all biomes are present which means if i read it correctly it means that you can't uh, create a random generated world where you only have one biome like only just wasteland i think that's how i read it maybe because at the moment i think you can have actually uh, create a world where it's just a uh, snow biome or wasteland or pine forest but maybe now you can't have that you must have one of each biome present i'm not sure about that i don't really care to be honest about this i don't make uh, maps uh, on my own uh, where i have all just wasteland or just uh, snow biome you know i would like to uh, have the option if uh, anything to have one just one biome so i'm not sure if how i feel about this one maybe you have an option where you can actually uh, turn it on or off you know 
<laughs> so you can have uh, just one biome or something like that. I don't know. I guess we're gonna see when the Alpha 22 is coming out. Let's move on to the next point. New props world art. Pallets of recycled cans and cardboard. Okay. Campsite tents, road decals, can place blocks on top of road paint. Ooh, this is a major one actually. Uh, at the moment, if you want to <laughs> place blocks on a road, there is the paint, which is technically their uh, blocks <laughs> that are painted to look like road paint. And you can't actually place the block, you have to destroy them. And most of the times they're made out of um, cobblestone or concrete sometimes. And it's, uh, it's a pain in the ass. But if uh, I read this correctly, it means you can add blocks, you can place blocks on top of those uh, and you won't affect anything. So I like this idea. I hope it works the way I think it works. Well, I guess we're gonna see. Um, new graphics and visual effects. Okay, fire barrel. I think we already have this one, right? So maybe they change it a little bit. New blood effects when bleeding. Nice. New blood effects when dismembered. Nice. <laughs> new gore art tech for dismember zombies. Okay. Maybe something like you no know, parts of uh, the, the meat coming out or something like that. <laughs> kind of like the crawler has those uh, bones and stuff coming out of him and moving everywhere. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Uh, because at the moment when you cut a leg or something like that, it's just a, a smooth cut for the zombies. Maybe now you can see some uh, parts of the muscles and uh, the meat and bones coming out of the dismembered part of the body. I think that's what they mean, mean for this. That would be cool. And uh, new contact shadows and ambient occlusion. Okay. Next point is optimization performance. A new window tinting system makes window glass opaque until you get close. Occluding the interior improves performance, especially for uh, skyscrapers. Okay. Game updated to Unity, ta -ta 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 -pam, whatever it's all these uh, things. <laughs> new lighting update manager. Ambient occlusion better handles large amounts of props. Block entities spawn over multiple frames. Gameplay balancing it's ongoing. Okay. So yeah, a bunch of uh, optimizations and performances. I'm not sure maybe this uh, <laughs> will add more bugs to the game and <laughs> they will delay the alpha the release of alpha 22 I, I don't know we'll see okay oh console so now for all of you guys who want to play this on console alpha 22 will be released for playstation 5 and xbox series xs along with uh, windows mac and linux so apparently <laughs> it's official once the alpha 22 is uh, released all you guys on the console you will get the game as well it will be the same game on pc and console with the same features and content okay the fan pins are in talks hoping to offer a discount for players that own the all 2016 console release Okay, this one uh, is not a new, I mean, they've been do talking about this for a very long time. Known to be coming, but now ready for Alpha 22. All right, bandits. <laughs> Weather improvement, improved biome progression, story and factions, Steam Workshop support. All right, so let's talk about these bandits for fuck's sake. <laughs> we have a lot of overall mods on top of my head. We have the Werzook, uh, the War of the Walkers, uh, Rebirth, uh, Age of Oblivion the wasteland they all have npcs uh, sometimes they're good sometimes they're bad and it looks like the it works okay i really don't understand why the fan pimps are having such a hard time to introduce these fucking bandits <laughs> okay uh, unless they they're trying to do something different maybe they want to use the bandits as part of the game uh, maybe in pois or uh, maybe you have to race them to get to a poi before they clear it or something like that. i don't know Maybe they're part of missions. Uh, and then I would understand why they take uh, take them so long to introduce the bandits. But if that's not the case, <laughs> I still don't understand what the fuck is going on here. Like, we clearly can have bandits and NPCs in the game because other people are doing it with overall mods. Why they take them so long, I don't know. Uh, weather improvements, uh, honestly, I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just my opinion, but I think it's pretty good in the current alpha. I don't see any problem with this one. So I'm not sure about this improved biome progress what exactly they want to do here story and factions i mean come on <laughs> i don't think we will ever have a story in seven days today honestly <laughs> we are kind of left to create our own story i'm actually doing my own story at the moment with my series the time travel so <laughs> i'm kind of left to do to be creative on my own because i don't think they will uh, introduce a story in the game if you guys want to watch go watch the time travel series the first two episodes are a bit junky because i'm uh, editing basically the the episodes from my streams but starting with the third episode which will be this friday 
uh, everything will you guys will see a lot of improvements in the uh, graphic quality and uh, voice as well my microphone and stuff and there's a little bit of uh, a cheeky story behind it and you guys will uh, We'll understand slowly what's going on, uh, but yeah, uh, Steam Workshop support, uh, I don't know, maybe they're talking about uh, customer support or something like that, and they, they, they're not going to introduce this one in the new Alpha. <laughs> anyway, so this is pretty much all the news that we have about Alpha 22. Let's go check the new game that uh, they created. We'll see how it looks. All right, guys, so here we are on the Steam. The game is called Seven Days Blood Moons by the fun pimps the game is not released yet i think there will be an early access uh, soon i have it on my wish list so i'm just waiting for the game to be released at, at least in early access because i really want to try it and see how it looks but let's watch the trailer and see how this game looks and uh, what's all about Okay. The basic seven days to die game. <laughs> Even the zombie models and the weapons and stuff. The blocks as well, they look a little bit different. Okay, it looks a little bit more complex than what I, I like this one, the burger here. If this is part of the game, I really enjoy it. Uh, looks like a desert biome here, a lot of stuff around, uh, motorcycles everywhere. That's nice. Survive the blood moons. One second let's stop here for a second so isn't this the same game the seven days to die like what's the difference here uh, five with powerful weapons is basically the same weapons we have in seven days to die <laughs> okay Introducing a whole new way to play. Okay, let's see. Become the zombie hive master. Ooh, okay. Wait, you're a zombie. So who you, are you attacking? Do you play with friends and you attack them? I think yes. Organize your horde. Okay. Oh, this is cool actually. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna stop it. Oh, let's see if there's more to the game, but I don't think so. Uh, let's take a look at the pictures, if there is any. If there's any. Okay. So this is how you organize your zombies around. So it looks like more like a like a arena type of game. And I guess it's more for like multiplayer, so you must have some friends that you play with and maybe some of them will be part of the of the team to fight the zombies and maybe you have to uh, control like the zombies to attack them. I think I guess that's what it, it's all about, right? It doesn't look like an open world type of game like Seven Days to Die. This is more like an arena because it would be really difficult to have uh, this kind of view with all the buildings if you have the whole if you can choose any building uh, anywhere on the map, okay? That's what I'm talking about. So that's why I think it's more like an arena. Okay, uh, I don't know. 
<laughs> so this is an online pvp game so I, I was a little bit confused about what kind of game this one is but now i'm i understand what's uh, what's this game about uh yeah you can play online i was hoping for them to make a new game an actual new game you know maybe based on the zombies um but it's okay uh i guess we're gonna find out when the game will be released we're gonna find out how it actually works it would be nice to have friends to play with <laughs> i don't have that many that play seven days to die so uh you know <laughs> it's gonna be hard for me to play this game unless uh i can play in multiplayer or servers or stuff like that which i'm pretty sure you can <laughs> but anyway i guess we're gonna find out it looks cool uh, it's basically seven days to die but it's a bit more uh, multiplayer focused game the arena looks quite nice you know i like the the design of the burger there and stuff like that uh yeah well we're, we're gonna see how this uh, game looks and how it feels and how how many bugs we we can find in this game we'll see for how long you will stay in alpha or beta or whatever anyway guys um i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye